if you're with me this morning, it's Nancy Queen, and we are here for the Shawl Knitting Boot Camp. We're live, and uh, wow, I see there's already a bunch of people on. Good morning to you. Please uh, go ahead and pop in the chat and let me know where you're from. This is an early morning for me. I, uh, I'm i not a, a morning person. I'm, I like to stay up pretty late, so I'm really glad to see you. Angela, hi. Great to see you. Let me, oh, we've got Stacy from Tennessee. Good morning from Massachusetts, Oregon. Okay, Ruth, you're up with me, 7.30 a.m. Um, I'm in uh, California. So we've got uh, Holly from Georgia. Hello, welcome. Uh, Louisa, good morning. Thea. Nova from Baltimore, another Oregon, welcome. I'm so glad you joined me this morning. I'm so excited to kick off my shawl knitting boot camp with you. Uh, can everyone hear me okay? Because I didn't put my headphones in, but if I need to, I will put them in real quick. So if you can hear me, just give me a thumbs up in the chat. Okay, good. Oh, we've got some Reading, Pennsylvania. I grew up in Emmaus. Hi, Casey. Um, oh, good. Lots of thumbs up here. Okay, so let's start. So if you're not familiar, or if you are familiar, if you've taken the shawl knitting boot camp before, or any of my boot camps, let everyone know in the comments. Uh, but I've never done a live with a, um, a course launch before, like right when it launches. So I'm so excited. I've got all of the shawls. In fact, I'll put one on. This is the first shawl in the course. It's the Transcendent Triangle. I've got shawls falling all over here. Okay, so, oh, we've got somebody from the UK. Hi, Tina. All right, so I want to tell you a few things about this. If you are interested in the Shawl Boot Camp, it's available at nancyqueen.com, and you're just going to click on courses, and you'll be able to go right to the boot camp. I did put a link directly to the course in the description below. Oh, we've got Dorit from Israel. Welcome. I'm so glad you could make it. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about the Shawl Boot Camp. And then what I'll do is I have shiny object syndrome and I get totally distracted by all of the comments coming in. So I'm going to not look at the comments until a little bit later after I tell you all about the boot camp and to give you a peek inside. Um, and then I will open up the floor for questions. You can ask me whatever you'd like to ask me. So this is something I've never done before. In addition to this going live during the launch of the boot camp, I've never done a giveaway. So the first eight people that um, purchased the course this morning will get a Notions bundle. And I'll show you what those eight people are going to get. It's a $50 value. It's from my friends, the Notions company of Billy and Ba. You can check them out at billyandba.com. But here are some of the things in Here's everything in this kit. You get a mesh laundry bag. So there are some blocking notions in this set. And the reason I chose this is because we do some blocking in the Shaw Boot Camp. And I wanted to take away some of the guesswork of it by having at least eight of you have the, some of the supplies you need. So this is a little mesh bag. It's really great for uh, washing your, your knitted garments and keeping them protected. Uh, there's also some of my favorite washes. This is soak wash. It's perfect for um, your hand nets. This one, these packets are unscented, um, but I love this product and you get a couple of those. You also get this, um, it's a hand and body balm. 
It's not a little tiny deodorant. It's a hand and body balm from Tuft. And it's really great for keeping your hands smooth. I know in the fall and winter, we tend to get hangnails. And that is the worst thing you can have on yarn is that. So you get a little hand um, balm. You get a little tin of blocking pins. Uh, you get a sandalwood and brass needle case. In fact, here's the finishing needles in here for weaving in your yarn ends or fixing mistakes. So there's that. And this thing feels so nice in your hand. There is a rose gold tape measure. It has both um, both metric and English inches. Uh, and then one of my favorite tools in the world is this fix a stitch. It's, it looks like a double ended crochet hook and there's several sizes in here. And these are amazing for picking up drop stitches. Uh, there's a whole little, um, how to, as well as the owner of fix a stitch has done some really amazing videos on picking up dropped stitches. So that is going out to the first eight people. I have no way of knowing if anybody's purchased it. So if you haven't gone to nancyqueen.com and gotten the shawl boot camp yet, you still have a chance of, of winning one of these $50 Notion sets. So now we're going to get into the actual shawl boot camp. Um, if you want to see all of the projects that are included in this course, let me know in the comments. Now this course is not like a normal course. I don't know of any other uh, designer or company or course company who has done something like this. I've taken five unique shawls, bundled them up into one course. So it's like five courses in one. And something designers never do is I have allowed, I have included instructions so that you can make any of these shawls using any weight yarn. And that is something you will not find in knitting patterns. They're few and far between. So to all of a sudden have um, a shawl resource that you can go to at any time and make any one of these shawls using whatever yarn you find in your stash or you're out shopping and you you know, just get yarn squishies and there's a yarn you have to have, but you don't know what you're going to do with it. These shawls are the answer. And it's just nice to have an arsenal of go-to projects that you know um, you don't have to think about. You can watch TV and make them. Um, they make great gifts. You don't have to worry about sizing, making the right size sweater for somebody. They're very forgiving. They look great on everybody. And and I don't know anybody who doesn't love to wear shawls. So uh, this first shawl is the, um, this is called the Transcendent Shawl. So the way the boot camp is arranged, you get one, it's a five week course and you get one shawl each week over five weeks. And the reason I did that was so that you have time to digest everything. And I'm going to show you in a minute what it looks like in the course and how each one is broken down. But when you open up the course, you'll get um, some basics. So if you don't know how to do a long tail cast on, or you don't know how to finish um, weave in the yarn ends, I'm going to show you how to do those things so that you end up with a gorgeous project that you really love and you can feel proud of, and it will help build your knitting confidence. So this is the first project in the lineup. This is called the Transcendent Triangle Shawl. And if you don't like self-striping yarns, I, if you'll notice, I use a lot of self-striping yarns in this course, but the reason for that is not only because I think they're beautiful, is that it allows you to actually see where you're going because when you're turning a corner in the middle of a project, it's hard to wrap your head around that. So this lets you see, oh, by doing these increases here, it's actually creating a turn, even though I'm knitting straight across, wow. 
and you can see the process and it really helps you understand why you're doing things. So you can knit these using any yarn, any texture. Um, you don't have to use a self-striping yarn, but it really just, when you're in the learning process and you're trying to grasp the concept of these different shapes, it really allows you to wrap your head around it. So this one is knitted from the top down. There's increases that make the shape, but guess what, friends? It is all garter stitch. With the exception of these uh, increases, the entire thing is knit every row. So I teach you where to put the stitch markers, how to use them, uh, how to know what side of the project you're on, whether it's an increase row or not. You'll learn so many little tips and tricks along the way. And then I finish it off with a ruffled edge uh, right there. You, and you can, sorry about that. Maggie has decided she wants to bark at someone. So <laughs> that's what happens with live, I, I guess. I gave her a treat to help keep her quiet, but um, she's a little distracted. So anyway, this, you can use the ruffle or not, but I wanted you to have that option available. And you can keep knitting this shawl to make it any size you want. So that is the first week transcendent triangle shawl. And then the second week, is the accessible asymmetrical shawl and this gosh i think i've made this thing a hundred times i love making this shawl because it looks like you've done something really complex knitted diagonally but guess what you haven't you're knitting every row and i will show you in the course how to do that you start over here at this little point and you just keep increasing and you create this gorgeous asymmetrical triangle. So that's week two of the course. And then, um, oh, I dropped one. Okay, week three is a, is a crescent shawl. So this one is really, really long, really long, but it has a soft crescent shape that kind of hugs your shoulders. And you can see here's how long it just keeps going and going. So you can wrap it around a few times. You could fold it in half like this and wear it like that. This would be great under a coat. And again, I use the self-striping yarn so that you can see how this thing is actually shaping up. And one of the things you learn with this crescent shawl is how to do a stretchy bind off because bind offs with shawls are really important. And with this one being so long, you don't want this crescent shape tight. It would just ruin the whole thing. So this gives that crescent shape. And then, so that's week three. Week four, we actually get into some lace, but it's a really fun, easy lace. You're going to love it. And this is it. It's called the Rewarding Rectangular Shawl, and it uses a drop stitch. You're actually putting stitches on the needle and then taking them off on the next row, and it creates this beautiful drop. And I didn't, I used a variegated yarn instead of so much a self-striping. And I gave it some really long, elegant fringe. You can see that here. And I just let them kind of pool up to be whatever colors clustered together. I thought that gave it a pop from this. And you can adjust this to make a scarf version. You can make it longer, wider. There's a lot of adjustments available. And again, all of these can be made using any weight yarn. And then the last one fell on the floor. <laughs> so that was week four. And then week five is the peaceful point to point shawl. And this one has been kind of a runaway hit. Um, people just love this. This is the peaceful point to point shawl. It actually has some tassels. And this one, I used a thick and thin yarn. Again, you can use whatever yarn you want, any weight, any thickness, any texture. 
But I really loved how, look, you get these really cool slubs and then you get parts that are like very smooth and sh almost shiny. So you get the juxtaposition of the shiny and, and, um, and rough. And then this is more like a wool roving. So it's not twisted so tight. And then this part is twisted tighter. So really interesting texture. And it actually is knit from one end to the other. So you have a point here and then you decrease down to the other skinny side. And this one, well, this one actually looks really good with my outfit today. This one you can just wear like, like that. This would look great under a coat as well. So I think I'll keep this one on for a little bit. And now I want to tell you about the course because we've priced it specially for the launch. Each one of these, um, each one of these shawl weeks by itself, you'd go to a store and you'd pay about $49 for one project. So you get the PDF pattern, you get step-by-step -step tutorial, and it's all go at your own pace. It's not live. Um, you can rewatch, rewind, go back to it a year later, go back to it two days later, whenever you want. You can go and watch it at 2 a.m. and learn whenever suits your schedule. And you get the PDF pattern, the step-by-step -step tutorials, a list of all of the um, yarns that I used, as well as instructions to adjust it for any weight yarn. So that's what's included in each one of these five segments. And then in addition, as a bonus, you get all of my um, uh, kind of shawl basics that you would need in case you don't know how to do some of these things. Um, <clears throat> And you'll learn how to make pom-poms, you'll learn how to do tassels. So there's a lot of fun extras. You learn how to block. And that all together is a $265 value. The course is not $265 because I wanted to make it affordable for everyone. So we priced it at $94. However, for the launch and for a very limited time only, Starting today, the course is $79. So you get all five weeks of learning for $79. You have them for a lifetime. You can go back to them at any time and just uh, enjoy this arsenal. You can download the patterns, save them, print them off, use them again and again. So it's a great arsenal. Of, of knitting shawls and knitting must-haves to have on hand at any time. Um, and I think that I've, okay, so the next thing I wanna do is give you a peek inside the course. So I have pulled up my iPad here, and I'm sorry, my dog is just grumbling away. I don't know if you can hear her. Uh, Something's really irritating her out the window. So, okay. So if you go to nancyqueen.com and then you go to courses, you would go and sign up for the course if you haven't already. And then um, once you've signed up for the course, you'll have a thing called My Library. And that's where you'll be able to access all of the courses you've purchased. They'll all be in there forever. And then when you get in, this is what the course actually looks like. You can see, there you go. You see the writing here. It's coming up a little light on the screen. Sorry about that. Um, but you have a whole introduction. And then each course is broken down. Let me see. I'm going to try turning off this light. Oh, that's way too dark. <laughs> okay. Um, so you can see here all of the, uh, this is what week one looks like. And I get into all of the basics like casting on, knitting the cowl, a beginner bind off, 
joining the ends and weaving in yarn ends. So if you haven't done anything more than cast on, knit and bind off, you're okay. You can do this course because you're going to learn everything else you need to know beyond that to knit any of these shawls. And then we go into week two. And I just want to show you, let's see, you get, there's a link that gives you the materials and overall introduction of the project and then how to use any yarn weight. Um, and, oh, I'm in the cow course. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Sorry about that. No wonder. I'm like, why are we not talking about cows? Let's see. Shawl boot camp. Here we go. We're in the right course now, ladies. The, um, Sorry about this. Let's see my courses. My library. Here we go. Shawl boot camp. Got the right boot camp. Okay, here we go. Shawl boot camp. So at least you know, Cal boot camp is coming soon, but it won't be until 2022. So you have something to look forward to. So anyway, you get the an overall list of the supplies so that if you want to get your supplies ahead of time, you can. And then it goes into all of the shawl essentials that I talked about. And then it goes week by week. So these are all of the lessons that you would be learning in week one, the transcendent triangle shawl. Then you go into week two. And after you start the course, each week you get the new a uh, week is released. So it's not all at once. I think that's way too overwhelming. And this way you have a reason to keep coming back, get your new project and kind of stay rejuvenated because I want you to have success with this. I want you to stay excited. Sometimes when you get everything all up front, it's overwhelming. You don't know what to do first. And that is not this way. So I want to show you here. Um, here's the Here's what it looks like actually in the course. So this has a description of what's going on. There's a comments section. So if you have questions about anything going on in the course, you can ask me. I'll get that email. I'll be able to email you a uh, comment back and you'll be able to see what other people have asked. So you'll be able to learn from what other people are asking. And the, um, here's, here's what it looks like. Oh, wait, let me, I just want to fast forward this a little bit. Here we go. The next illustration I want you to see. So you can see you're going to get step-by-step -step instructions that go at a nice pace, showing you how to do everything close up. You can stop, go back, move forward. See, here's a 15 seconds back, or you can use this little slider to go at whenever you want. You can use this on your computer, on your iPad, on your phone, wherever you are. As long as you have a Wi Fi connection, you can access the course. So, if you haven't jumped on already, I want you to go to nancyqueen.com or go to the link in the description below and click on the Shaw Boot Camp. Sign up for it. I'm not sure if anybody has taken advantage of the giveaway. There are um, a, there's a fifty dollar giveaway to the first eight people that sign up. And now I want to open up the floor. I see there have been questions coming in and I just wanted to get through everything I wanted to tell you about the course, but I want to see what uh, questions we have here. So let's see. Betha Barbara said, it's very pretty. All of them are. My edges never are straight in my projects, says Stacy. Well, I show you how to make nice edges in this course. And there's not a lot of um, edging detail that you have to worry about. It, and it's something that improves with practice as well. But I do show you how to make some nice clean edges in this course. Um, Padma says, very beautiful, each and every one. 
Rainbow SIJ says, love them all. They're all pretty. Uh, Diane loves the choice of wool from Cape Town. Welcome, Diane. Oh, we've got, um, let's see, Marcia from Brazil. Okay, I want to see if there's any questions. Here we go. Um, Sheila Nettie said, do all the shawl patterns use garter stitch only? Actually, yes, they all use garter stitch. Um, the only one that gets a little crazy is this beginner lace, which uses a drop stitch. But when you're not doing the drop stitch row, it's all garter stitch. Because I wanted you to be able to understand the concepts of the shawl shapes and the directions you're going without being overwhelmed uh, with complex stitch patterns. So these are all nice, easy, relaxing projects that you can mindlessly knit. I mean, you'll get to a point you don't even have to look at the pattern. They will, um, you'll get a nice rhythm. You can be watching TV, you can be out with friends or family, or having a friend over for tea, or you know, sitting in the library, knitting, relaxing, or waiting in a doctor's office and have your project with you and not feel like, oh no, I made a mistake, or I put it down, I don't know where I am in the project. These are really nice projects that are geared towards relaxing knitting and letting you understand the concepts and having an arsenal of projects you'll wanna go back to again and again. Um, okay. So let's see what else. Um, Kaz said, I'm a beginner as well. And I like knitting dishcloths, shawl, blanket, can't read a pattern. Well, these projects, the patterns will not overwhelm you. And I, I teach you the entire process through the step-by-step -step videos. So what's going to happen is you're going to have the pattern in front of you printed out, but you'll also have my step-by-step -step tutorial that's walking you through that whole pattern. So if there's any tricky parts, you just look at the pattern, watch the video, or ask me in the comments and I'll be able to get back to you and let you know where things have gone, maybe have gone awry. And I'll tell you, I've been in the knitting industry for about 30 years. There really isn't anything I haven't seen. I used to have brick and mortar stores and taught lots of knitting classes. So I understand where pain points are and I can guide you through anywhere that you're gonna get stuck, which we have very few questions in this course. Mostly the, the con it's comments saying, oh my gosh, I love this. Or can I use this yarn? Well, you can use any yarn, so yes. Um, let's see, I hope that answers your question. And let's see. Cable and lace are usually charted. Most patterns are written patterns. That's Stacy. Yep. Yeah. I hope to start knitting for myself soon. Kaz, these are great projects to knit for yourself because they're quick, they're fun, they're relaxing. You can choose special yarns that you fall in love with. I mean, all of these are great for hand dyed yarns, self striping yarns or a luxury yarn like a cashmere or um, alpaca. And they're all going to drape really beautifully. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Um, Stacy said, is a stitch count important in a shawl? Sometimes I have an extra or two. In these, no, they're all very forgiving. They're not going to um, it's not really going to matter. They're all very forgiving projects. This one, you'd make a mistake. You'd never see it, <laughs> but they're all very forgiving that way. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Um, oh, Hagrid's mom has, has cats and she wants to know how to keep your cats from getting tangled up in them. My cats see me as human furniture. <laughs> well, they do make um, yarn. There's yarn bowls. There's um, little, they, and they even have lids that you can buy that will keep your yarn pet free. They have them in plastic. They have them in ceramic. Go do a search for yarn bowls. I think I even did a blog post on yarn bowls 
uh, not too long ago. So if you go to noblenits.com and search yarn bowls, you'll see a whole list of some of my favorite yarn bowls. Okay, Padma says, I have knit two triangle shawls and a baby blanket from your channel and have turned out very well. Oh, that's great to hear. So you will love if you you understand my teaching style because what I show you in the in my YouTube videos, you're just getting more of me and more organized in the course because I have time to take you step by step, slow things down. Uh, really get into the nitty gritty and make sure that you're understanding every single thing and you get my personal help while you're in the course. So, okay. And Stacy said, if you have animals or yarn, uh, kids, yarn bowls are necessary. That is so true. Um, do you have any other questions about the shawl boot camp? I don't, we've been on for 30 minutes. I don't want to take up any more of your morning. It's actually noon if you're on the East Coast, I think. Oh, no, it's 1030, so it's 11 o'clock. Yeah, so I don't want to take up any more of your morning. If you haven't had a chance, go to nancyqueen.com, click on Shawl Boot Camp, and enroll. We have that $50 giveaway for the um, of Notions for the first eight subscribers to the course. And you, when you subscribe, you get eight... I mean, five gorgeous projects that you can knit using any weight yarn. Go get it today. And thank you so much for joining me for this live. And I will see you uh, on the, my next YouTube. I'll see you in the course. And thank you so much for joining me.